TNA Wrestling. Cross the line. City Machine Gun. And Kurt Angle is going to spar against the rest of the Angle Alliance. AJ Styles and Tonko, the TNA Tag Team Champs. Go to TNAWrestling.com right now and vote to find out who Awesome Kong will defend the TNA Knockout title against and... And when will Sting arrive? When will Sting show up? Wait a minute. I'm going to let you. We're going to have two interactive fan matches tonight. And one of them is going to be Robert Roode against Booker T. Wow! I said it's going to be interactive, Mike. What's the choice? Both of you are going to live by these rules. The fans will pick the stipulations. If the fans want to see somebody get beat up, they can pick last man standing. If the fans want to see somebody get embarrassed, they can pick an I quit match and we'll throw Banks and Brooks in the corners or. If they want to see somebody get hurt real stinking bad. Now what? Then they can pick first blood match. Whoa. The first man to bleed loses. The fans will pick it, and you guys are going to carry it out. You. Go to our website, TNAWrestling.com. First blood, last man standing, or I quit. Vote right now. Let's send it to JB with AJ Styles and Tonko. I'm here with the World Tag Team Champions, Tomko and the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Guys, I gotta ask you, what's going on here? An exhibition tonight against Kurt Angle? What are you thinking? It's, it's, it's more like a workout. I mean, we're, I don't even know what's going on. And personally, I didn't sign up for all this. I mean, uh, first of all, how about uh, Karen moving out? Yeah, she moved out of Pittsburgh, took the kids. I don't even know where she's staying. I'm worried sick about her. Uh, second, Tomko, why Team 3D? A lethal lockdown, why'd you get those guys? I mean, have you have you seen Brother Ray? He keeps stealing my belt. And then when we go to eat, he steals my food like some fifth grade bully. It's ridiculous, honestly. And you know what, and to top it all off, there's rumors that Sting's gonna be here tonight. Hey, hey. you know what? I don't sweat Sting. You know why? You don't sweat Sting. 
AJ and Tomko, we don't worry about anybody, baby, because we're the tag champs. Uh, well, I understand that. But look. What are you guys talking about? Mm, just think about the uh, warm up deal. I hope you're thinking about the warm up deal, the exhibition. Yeah. No, I need you guys. We're ready. Tomko, I need you for your size and strength. I'm fighting Samoa Joe at lockdown. I know you just beat up a guy in Japan in a shoot fight. I know you know what you're doing, so I want you to wear these gloves. Sure. AJ, I need you for your speed. I know you're an All-American in college, but you're not an Olympic gold medalist, okay? So I'm not gonna hurt you guys, but I don't want you guys to hold back. I want you guys to come at me with everything you have. You got me? Yeah. If you don't, I'm gonna hurt one of you, or both of you. You guys got that? Uh, yeah, now let's do this, because I'm in the zone. Okay. All right, let's go. I didn't wrestle heavyweight. I was free. Yeah, was hmm. And you better start working out. Me? Yeah. Why? Because next week, it might be your turn. Intriguing situation with the Angle Alliance to be involved in that public sparring session later, but it's time to kick off Impact with a lockdown escape qualifying matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your opening contest live on TNA Impact. A lockdown escape qualifying match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by Team 3D from Calgary, Canada, Johnny Devine. This much we know, Don West, at lockdown, Sunday, April the 13th, it will be Black Machismo defending the TNA X Division Championship inside the Six Sides of Steel. He will have five challengers. We know that Curry Man and the Guru have already qualified. We'll find out who's next. As we see our Spanish broadcast team, every impact in TNA pay-per-view. Available with Spanish audio, there you saw Hector Guerrero and Willie Urbina bringing TNA to you in Espanol. And his opponent representing the Motor City Machine Guns from Detroit, Michigan, Helen Shelley! Huge matchup here for one half of the Motor City Machine Guns tag team. This is an opportunity for Alex Shelley to take that next step, move into the world as one of the challengers, one of the five challengers at lockdown in that Expedition Escape match. The winner here, Alex Shelley, Johnny Devine, will head to Boston, the greater Boston area, in our lockdown pay-per-view. How about Johnny Devine, though? I mean, just jump-starting this match of Alex Shelley blindsided. Johnny Devine takes advantage, but Alex Shelley, oh! I tell you, counter, you put the knees right into the chin. And look at that, wow! What a unique DDT sort of move right off the road. Boy, Johnny Devine, he came down with that paparazzi camera. He's got it set up here in the ringside area. He's got the backup from Team 3D, Brother Ray, Brother Devon around the ringside area. Looks like Alex Shelley's outnumbered here, doesn't it? How about this interactive show we got here going on right now, Mike, today? Not only do you get the ball on, who else from Kong is going to take over for the knockout championship at TNAWrestling.com? You can pick what kind of man Booker T and Robert Roode are going to have later tonight. Your choices, yes, will be last man standing, I quit, or a first blood match. We direct it to our website, TNAWrestling.com, and the voting will cut off at the top of the hour. Head to our website right now and make your vote. Make your voice heard. Here's that quick roll-up inside cradle. Two count only for Divine on Shelly. I'll tell you what, with anticipation of Sting, sometime here tonight in the impact zone. Every time the lights do the sting effect there with the flicker, Mike, you start looking around as you also keep, wow! Look at Alex Shelley, just get the legs up around. Wait a minute, Whoa. that's what I'm talking about, Sting! We talked about it, Don, right at the outset of this broadcast, and look at Team 3D. I don't know whether you can see this or not, but they just ran right by us and ran right up the ramp. I think Team 3D brother Red Rudder Diva decided to get out of Dodge just in case it is time for Sting to arrive. Well, you can see they were taking a chance and Alex Shelley started to sling center of the top. Oh, he just gone, put the knee right in and Johnny Devine and knocked him into the rail. Just crashed him right into the guardrail. Boy, just a mere flicker of the lights sends Team 3 to the 3D to the back and now it's Shelley's opportunity. Suicide dive! What a sensational dive right 
through the ropes. Projectile dive. Yes, right into Johnny DeVos. Take another look at this. Look at this right here. You see Alex Kelly go right through the second to the third rope, and he just nails Johnny DeVos perfectly. And got it laid on the floor. Yes, impact zone rock. As we go to break, let's remind you of your morning choices. Who will be awesome Kong? Well, there you can see them all. And they're all wanting to be a part of that championship match later on tonight, Mike. TNA knockout title. Yes, it will be in state. Go to our website. Go now. TNAwrestling.com. has been in control of this match for the last couple of minutes. He is just absolutely confident. He's on fire. You can see Alex Shelley in trouble. And I think sometimes when you, you work with a partner so often, like Alex Shelley's been doing with Chris Saban, that the advantage is going to Johnny Devine right now, as he is so focused on getting the lockdown April 13th and being a part of that exhibition championship match, that escape match out of the six sides of steel. And of course, lockdown is that one-of-a-kind pay-per-view. Only happens once a year. Every match to be contested inside the six sides of steel cage when the exhibition title's on the line, when Black Machismo, Jay Lethal defends, it's gonna be an escape match. Yes, the object there is to escape the cage and win, either retain, yet keep that X Division Championship belt. Well, but he's not gonna have just one opponent, he's gonna have five, as there will be six X Division athletes all five to leave that cage and take home that X Division title. Alex Shelley right now getting that momentum back on his side. Nice move, saw. He nails it, two, two. got it, oh, no. man, so close. Shelley, Johnny. almost Johnny. had it that time. We gotta see that again if we can. You're right, Mike, this is just so close. He hits it perfectly, and there you see two, and then right there, Johnny Devine gets that shoulder up with one millisecond to go. Oh, Johnny Devine in survival mode, still alive here. Quickly shot off into the corner, springs back off the middle rope. Shelly dropped down to avoid the contact of the crossbody. Measures, super kick right into the face, but check this out, Devine stays up. Gonna go for a little slice bread. Oh, he, oh, but look at this. Johnny Devine turns right into it. Backslide, Divine shoulders down just momentarily. Oh, but Johnny Divine able to get out of the hole and now get a hold of Alex Shelley. Alex Shelley just sent him right over the top of the rope, Mike. You, you saw that double underhook move. Looked like he was setting up for the Divine intervention, but wait a minute, Divine, he's picked up the tripod that had the paparazzi camera. Oh, the referee didn't see it. Andrew Thomas never saw that. Well, Andrew Thomas got knocked by Alex Shelley and he got knocked away as he turned around and it already happened. And Alex Shelley now reeling from the stand of the paparazzi camera. Oh my gosh, the Divine intervention. He oh. nailed it that time. Two and three count. Here is your winner, Johnny Devine! Huge victory in the career of Johnny Devine, a stepping stone match for him because with the victory, he qualifies as, yes, one of the challengers Sunday, April the 13th in Lowell, Massachusetts at lockdown. And here it is, the escape qualifier. We see Black Machismo, the champ, joined by Curry Man, Sanjay Dutt, Johnny Devine with Two challengers yet to come. Is this the way I gotta get your attention, Jim Cornette? Is this the way I gotta do things around here? See, my plan was to get Robin Roode in the middle of that ring tonight, one on one. Beat him down, beat him like I'm his daddy. And my plan worked to a T, you dig? So Robin Roode, after tonight, you will never ever stand in the middle of the ring with my wife ever again. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't gonna make it to lockdown. I guarantee your punk that. And as far as tonight, fan interaction go, I want Robert Roode's blood. Read my lips. I want Robert Roode's blood. You dick. Hi, I'm here backstage with Johnny Devine, Brother Ray, Brother Devon, Team 3. Shut up and get out of my way. I only got two minutes. This is live TV. 
Brother Divine, let me be the first to congratulate you for advancing to the escape match at Lockdown oh. by beating that little punk, Alex it's all Shelley. It's all Bro, you need to continue what me and Devon started. Destroy the X Division. We know you can do it. Absolutely. Now, on to Team 3D business. Sting. Sting, your path and our path have never, ever crossed. You see, when you were being babied and coddled in WCW, me and my brother Devon were carrying ECW. And when you were there putting that company out of business, we were stealing the show in WWE night after stinking night. Sting, let's keep this nice and sweet and simple. You stay away from us, we'll stay away from you. Because don't think for one second, if you show up tonight, that me and my brother Devon won't smack that stupid clown makeup right off your stick, stick. What the, hey, the, what? what? Quit screwing around. I'm not, I'm not screwing around. St Dude, cut it out, Shut, that is not me. If it's not you. Oh. Orlando, Florida, certainly the center of the wrestling universe. Many stars from the sports, from the entertainment world on hand here tonight at Thursday Night Impact. Well, I wonder who else is on hand. Well, there's so many people in Orlando right now, Mike. There is no telling. I saw Joel Zamaya of Detroit Tigers. Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a six-person mixed tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing team number one, Big Papa Pope Scott Steiner, Maple Leaf Muscle Petey Williams, and Rucka Khan. One of the most disturbing things, Don, that we have seen in recent weeks has to be this quote-unquote initiation of Petey Williams by Big Papa Pop Scott Steiner. Check this out. Well, there it was two weeks ago after Petey Williams lost. He was holding his head under the water and screaming at him. And then after How last week, so he had the electricity shocking Petey Williams. It's unbelievable how far Scott Steiner will go to teach whatever lesson he's trying to teach. It is a mix six-person tag team match on Impact, and now let's introduce their opponents. And their opponents representing the Latino nation, Homicide, Hernandez, and Salinas, American Exchange. The one thing that LAX has told us, 2008 is going to be their year. Homicide Hernandez accompanied by Salinas to the six-person mixed tag. They tell me, Don, and I know they tell you as well, they can feel it. TNA World Tag Team title, they say they're coming home. Well, we know they're gonna get that title shot. They've earned that already at Destination X, and that will be coming up with your right mind. They have a different attitude. They have that old LAX feel when they were dominating the tag team division, and it's when they get that game mentality, when they get that thug mentality, when they just focus on pain and brutality, that's what makes LAX so dangerous. I got a comment on that footage that we saw during the introduction of Scott Steiner, Rocka Khan, and Petey Williams. Boy, that is disturbing, this initiation, dunking him initially, then you saw the electrocution, that footage courtesy of TNA Today. Yes, check it out at our website, tnawrestling.com. Boy, are you talking about- Look at about this showdown right here. <laughs> the powerful Hernandez. Very few people can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Big Papa. Oh! Big Papa Pump took the shortcut. That's the experience edge that he has. As, it, as you can see, Hernandez wanting to bow up to him. Scott Steiner not gonna let it happen. Shoots that. Well, the, the Mexican Superman, Hernandez, shot him off into the rope. Gonna try for a catapult move. Oh my, what a clothesline shot that was. And then here comes that backsplash. That's the drive-by, isn't it? You better believe it. That's what happens when you stick. And you can see right now, the double team by LAX is Petey Williams 
right now. On the back, you never did. What a lift, what a kick, what a shot by Homicide. And that's the LAX we're talking about. They can turn it around in their favor. I want to remind you, wrestlers from all over the world are in Orlando, Florida. Yes, there have already been several confrontations, but wait until you hear about one specific confrontation that's taken place. One way to find out, TNA Mobile, text TNA to 76,000. Petey Williams now getting control of that jawbreaker, and then he spin kicks into Homicide. And again, you talked about it, those initiations that Scott Steiner was doing to Petey Williams, just the tough love, the hard love, and I mean, holding his head underwater. Using the electrocution last week. You just wonder what it's all about, but obviously right now it's working. Just Petey Williams and Scott Steiner. Lots of cons seem to be working together. Scott Steiner meets homicide, simply overpowers it. Belly to belly release. Off the suplex. Quick cover. Referee Earl Hebner down for the count, but Scott Steiner, I think, wants to dish out more punishment. Oh, he does. He he knows this new attitude LAX has got it. Scott Steiner's trying to trying to put an end to that right now as he's just manhandling homicide, doing what he wants. And you see him now going up that second rope. He's got the belly to belly again. Whoa! Oh! Over the top! Wow! Another release suplex, and you can see Scott Steiner getting underneath the skin. A big Hernandez outside goes for the cover, but still not able to get that full three count on Homicide. Oh, I think again, Mike, he wanted to show his strength. Pulling up again just to keep rubbing it into Homicide and turns it over to Petey Williams. But Homicide sees an opening and goes right for it. Another reminder, our website, TNAWrestling.com. Oh, there's a gringo stunner. That's the place to vote for Awesome Kong's opponent, as well as the special stipulations for Robert Roode and Booker T. Voting to continue until the top of the hour. Go to TNAWrestling.com right now. Can Homicide get the tag in? Well, you can see Petey Williams trying to grab onto the ankle, trying to do anything he can to pull him back. And, but, oh, look at that, how about Homicide baiting him? Putting that ankle out there, and then kicking him with it, and he goes into the corner, gets the tag, and look at that. Here comes Hernandez. Whoa! Slingshot! Put the shoulder right into Steiner. Petey Williams. Oh, cracker Oh, jack. my. Tossed overhead. Big clothesline just stick. Big pop up pump. Look at that strength. I mean, you call him the Mexican Superman. I think that's dead on. I mean, he is Superman, did he, Mike? He is just <laughs> so strong. Look at this. Overpowering strength. Petey Williams oh. up. Petey Williams down. Powerbomb. Rock a con in to try and break it up before he can get the three count. Wow, that's bold. You got to give her that. Now, that is bold to come in there. Oh, the while she's staring at Hernandez. Salinas jumps in and gets on the back of Rock a con. Wow. wow. That was something he just flipped her over like a rag doll. Rocka Khan just tossed Salinas right off. Slammed her down to the canvas. Boils down now to LAX, working together. Homicide, motions for Hernandez. Big man gonna fly! Whoa! And there he is at the Superman hunt move! Supermax, Mike! Just took out Scott Steiner, going over the top rope! Man alive, is he unbelievable! Look at the ring! Green Dog Killer! Oh, Petey landed on his feet instead! Doubles him over! Gonna go for the Canadian Destroyer! No, it's blocked! Homicide just T-boned him! Oh, Bridging two, two plays and got, got a three count! Here are your winners, Kalei American Exchange! Homicide, Hernandez, Salinas, LAX, the Latin American Exchange, picking up the win on this live Thursday Night Impact. Mike, you talked about it. They said 2008 is going to be their year. What a statement that is. Let's look at the replay. Man, look at that. Unbelievable. It's Hernandez over the top row. And there he saw it. The T-Bone suplex and man alive, he gets the pin. And Petey Williams for the third week in a row has lost. Yeah, something tells me that Big Papa Pup's not going to be too thrilled with that. And as a matter of fact, while LAX celebrates right here in front of the broadcast table, Scott Steiner, he's got those handcuffs again. Oh, no, you don't. It, not another step. Not another stage well, in, this, in this initiation. TNA Today cameras are rolling. Oh, let's check out Rough Cut right now. The, the feast or fired match, I guess, is the, is the root of all evil here. I got eliminated from the match, but we're partners. We're partners whether I'm in the match, he's in the match. We were always partners. That was first and foremost. 
me being the, the solid partner and the, and the, and the go-to guy all the time, climbs up the pole, gets the case, and, and, and mind you, we knew what none of the cases were, but just by chance, we got the teenage tag team title shots. I handed it to him on a silver platter, and he doesn't know who his partner is? She threw me that briefcase and I caught it, and I saw that as an opportunity to fulfill a dream that I've had all my whole life, and that was to hold some tag team championship belts with my, a member of my family, and my father especially being my, my hero my whole life. Okay, I get it, I get the hero thing, I get that, I don't have a problem with that, but you're talking about a world championship tag team title match, and he's gonna pick his dad over me? No, I was there right beside you the whole way. Had to take care of you, had to hold your hand, had to do everything for you. Then all of a sudden, the, the biggest night of our lives, and you're gonna pick your dad over me? I didn't put all this time and effort into something. Finally, we get what we've been striving for, and I get thrown by the wayside. He knows how I feel, and knowing how I feel, I don't understand how he could get jealous of that, but uh, Kip's had a bit of an ego. Uh, it's not something new. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of people, a lot of fans out there going, well, it's his dad. You know, if he's been a wrestler his whole life and he's been a wrestler his whole life, shouldn't you just stand aside? Hell no, I shouldn't stand aside. A, a TNA Tag Team Championship title, th that's everything in the, in the company that we're in. That is why we are in this business to strive to be the best. You know, let me assure you that there's nobody in TNA if I want to turn the Jets on that they can't keep up with me, and he knows that. I think it is a huge misunderstanding, but I think the misunderstanding part has gone out the window now. I loved him, I love him, like a brother. He said that in his interview as well, that we were like brothers. Well, brothers to me mean something, and this time he let his ego get in the way of being him, maybe not becoming what we once were, but ruining our legacy of, of what we had. He threw it all away because, his, like his biceps, his ego is too inflated. Be a part of TNA Interaction. Vote now at TNAWrestling.com for the stipulation in the Booker T-Robert Roode match. And who will Awesome Kong's opponent be? You decide. Oh, we talked about celebrities from the sports world in attendance tonight at the Impact Zone. Check it out. That's Big Jules Amaya, the man with the 100-plus mile-an-hour fastball member of the Detroit Tigers. You gotta love it when they come out to support TNA, don't you die? Oh, this guy's one of the biggest fans ever. This is the second time now he's been out here during spring training, and you can see the fan that he is. Yes, the Motor City representing tonight here at the Impact Zone. Want to remind you, earlier today, I had the chance, the opportunity, to talk with the woman who shocked us all. Remember, she dropped the bomb on her husband, Kurt? Let's hear from Karen Angle. Karen, it was two weeks ago in front of the Impact Zone and in front of the world when you asked your husband, Kurt, for a separation. And I have to admit, based on your history, I was probably the biggest skeptic that there was. But then everything that I've heard, especially in the past week, about the fact that you've moved your two children, Kira and Cody, out of the house in Pittsburgh, I guess this is as real as it gets. You know what, Mike? You're right, this is real. Do you know how hard that was for me to take my two children out of the only home that they have known? But I knew I was making the right decision. And I don't blame you for being skeptical. I couldn't wake up in the morning anymore and look in the mirror feeling good about myself after all the things that I have done to innocent people here that Kurt has made me do. When I married him, I knew that Kurt's career would always come first. But I can't do it anymore. I have children. I'm an adult. I need to set an example for them. And I'm not setting a good example. So I had to make a decision, and that's what I did. And I know in my heart that I've made the right decision. Was there one thing that finally drove you to ask for that separation? One thing? Mike, have you seen him the last few weeks? He's like a possessed person. Mm -hmm. It's Joe, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We come home from being at work. Our kids come running to us. They're so excited that mommy and daddy are home and there's nothing, nothing, no feeling from him. My daughter tries to jump into his arms and he doesn't even embrace her. That should be answer enough for you of why I made the decision that I did. I'm an adult. I can understand that I have to take a back seat. But you know what? My children can't. 
and they don't deserve to. Karen, I've got to ask you about the rumors that are flying around the TNA locker room. Rumors that you are seeing someone on the TNA roster, someone who's not only very close to you, but also to Kurt. Can you confirm that? Mike, you know what I can confirm for you? Is that I have met someone who treats me the way that I should be treated, the way that a lady should be treated, the way that Kurt used to treat me. As far as anything else, I can't confirm anything. That's, that's all I can tell you about that. Another reminder, voting ends at the top of the hour, but go to our website right now, TNAWrestling.com, and you can play matchmaker. Absolutely. Who's going to face Awesome Call tonight? It's up to you. Is it going to be Angelina Love, Christy Hemme, Gail Kim, ODB, Roxy Laveau, or Velvet Sky. Go to TNAWrestling.com and pick the championship matchup for Awesome Talk. Plus, we know it will be Booker T one-on-one -on -one against Robert Roode. But you can vote. Will it be an I Quit match? Will it be Last Man Standing? Or will it be First Blood? When we return, it's Kurt Angle's in-ring sparring session. Oh, this is going to be big. Angle against AJ Styles and Top Coat, and we will talk live to Samoa Joe in California. Before we talk live via satellite with Samoa Joe, let's check out his training camp as he prepares for Kurt Angle and the TNA World Title at Lockdown. Things changed drastically when we were in that cage. A lot more danger than compared to you know just having ropes. You're stuck in there, you're trapped in there. I mean, that's exactly why I'm here, you know? I'm training in a cage. Is Kurt training in a cage? You know, is Kurt getting ready like I'm getting ready? You know, as far as I'm concerned, Kurt, Kurt's using all this money and he's trying to surround himself with the most high-priced, you know, training talent in the world. You know, money can't buy you heart, Kurt. Money can't buy you desire. And this, this isn't about money. This is about that championship. This is about me coming after you and taking what you hold most dear. Watching him fight is always, it, it's kind of like the Mike Tyson of the old days where, you know, you get this guy who's fast and explosive and has, and is pulling out moves that you just can't believe a guy like him is so agile and can do. So, you know, this guy is just all around excitement and, you know, the fans love him. You know, as far as the previous matches go and Kurt, I mean, he's outpaced me on a couple of them, but I mean, everybody knows it's never been just me and Kurt in the ring. You know, it's always been Kurt and his wife, or Kurt, and five other guys. You know, uh, for an Olympic athlete, for a world champion, I've never seen a guy show up to a fight with so much backup in my life. And uh, Six Sides of Steel, it's a different story, you know? Nobody's in that ring, it's just me and him. The one thing that he's got that I think is definitely key in this is like I keep pointing out, and that's that the guy is just an absolute animal. He goes out there, he goes for the kill, um, and I think that's gonna fit real good in uh, this scenario in the Six Sides of Steel. Everybody knows every time I've had Kurt one-on-one, -on -one, he's never got out alive and he won't get out this time. And ladies and gentlemen, we are joined at this time, live via satellite from Big Bear, California, by Samoa Joe. And Joe, I've got to tell you, in recent weeks here on Impact, we have been watching your training videos, but I want to hear it from you in your own words. How is your training camp going? You know, Mike, to be quite honest with you, my training camp's been probably the most extreme thing I've ever been through. It's been the most vicious thing I've ever been through. And every day I've been here, every day, Kurt, you get a little bit closer. To taking you out. We're getting ready for war down here. Come April 13th at lockdown, there will be a war. Joe, to review history, head-to-head -head matchups, yourself and Kurt Angle. Four matches, Kurt Angle winning three of the four. How will lockdown be any different? You know, I'll be quite honest with you, Mike, I can make a thousand and one excuses why I didn't win all four of those matches. That's not what the people want to hear. What the people want to hear is that there's a man that's going to come take that belt Hold it with pride, hold it with honor, hold it res with respect. And most importantly, a man who's gonna go out there and show the world that he's earned this title, not by politicking, not by being a snake backstage, but by the sweat of his brow and what he does in that ring. Joe, at lockdown, you have agreed to walk away from professional wrestling if you do not defeat Kurt Angle and win the TNA World's Heavyweight title. And I've gotta ask you, since you made that promise, have you had any second thoughts? 
I'll be real honest with you, Mike. Ever since I've made that proclamation, I've regretted it. Every minute since I've said that, I've regretted it because this is what I love. This is what I do. This is pro wrestling. This is my life. But you know what, Kurt? If I can't be the best at this, if I can't be the man at this, then guess what, Kurt? It's not worth being in. I'm coming for something April 13th, Kurt, and it's your championship. I'm coming for something, Kurt, and I'm going to take it by force. I'm going to take it by any means necessary. And Kurt, rest assured, come lockdown, I will be the new TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Samoa Joe, we thank you very much for your time from your training base in Big Bear, California, and we wish you the best of luck at lockdown. Thank you, Mike, and I'll see you in the Impact Zone real soon. And ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we are joined, Don and I, by one of the real stars of the mixed martial arts world. Yes, a man who has fought, he's competed for the Pride Organization, for UFC, for the ultimate fight. I'm talking about Mr. Frank Trigg. Welcome to TNA. Thanks for having me, guys. I really appreciate this. My first chance to actually be with pro wrestling, to get to sit between you two guys. I kind of feel like, you know, the best piece of meat any sandwich could possibly be. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Time to check out Mr. Kurt Angle and his training session tonight on this Live Impact. Gentlemen, this is a special sparring session with one minute rounds. Introducing the sparring partners, they are the TNA World Tag Team Champions, Tunko and the Prince of Phenomenal, AG Styles. Frank Trigg, intriguing, unique situation here. AJ Styles and Tomko aligned with Kurt Angle. Nobody knows this better than you. What is it like? What's the mindset when you have to spar with people who, well, are your friends? Well, you know, in amateur wrestling, it happens for us a lot. The guy that I compete with, I train with every day in the practice room, all of a sudden I'm going to compete against him when it's time to be in the semis or the finals of a tournament. It's real tough. It's real hard. You have to be real careful because they know exactly what you're going to do. And their sparring opponent is from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He is Professional Wrestling's only Olympic gold medalist and the TNA heavyweight champion of the world. He is Kurt Hingle. Tremendous insight from MMA star Frank Trigg as it relates to, yes, Kurt Angle because the Olympic gold medalist, Frank Trigg, in a sense, he's your mentor. Yeah, you know, both of us being from the East Coast, you look around, you have to make a choice. Who are you gonna follow? Kurt Angle was right down the street from me. Me growing up in Rockford, New York, came down in Pittsburgh. He was obviously the same body type. Of course, he's a little bit bigger than I am, but the same aggressive wrestling style. I said, hey, I gotta follow a guy that knows what he's doing. Kurt, obviously, with a world championship, an Olympic gold medal, he knows exactly what he was doing. I had to follow in his footsteps and tried. Didn't come as good as, as Kurt did, but I tried to do the exact same thing that he did. It's gonna be interesting because we will have alternating one minute rounds. It's gonna start off with Kurt Angle, one on one against Tomko, and you'll see that countdown clock on your screen. Earlier we talked about Kurt Angle. You said when it comes to that, that overall dedication to training, there's absolutely nobody like the Olympic gold medalist. It shows up all the time, and you see it through a nice stiff jab in there. I'm kind of impressed at how good his hands have gotten. Uh, we got to spend a little time before we started. Oh, not rolled into a nice arm triangle. Kurt steps his hips off to his left side and right side of our screen. He'll actually be able to finish this on Tom Kobe's side to jump over. You know that, that arm triangle right there, that variation of a side choke, is one of the moves that Angle used last week on Impact in the initial public sparring session. Tried it here on Tom Kobe. As we can see, Tom Kobe going to try and shoot in as well, but Kurt blocked. One of the good things that Kurt does is that he'll try something in the practice, learn it two days ago, and try it immediately in live competition. He's been that good in his entire athletic career. Well, you can see that wrestling background right there as he goes for the, the single leg takedown. And again, Kurt Angle, you got it like this, Mike, and, and Frank, just how dedicated he's been and, and how on top of his game he is. We can see now as he's, as he's looking to ground a power, which is something new for a wrestler with amateur background because you don't have that much space, you don't have that much time. Kurt got himself in a half guard, got a couple of blows in. Tomko is really falling apart. Everybody thinks that, hey, a minute's a long, a short period of time, but it's not, especially when you get cut that quick. As you can see, Kurt finally smashed him down. Got a nice left hand in there, opened him up a little bit. Boy, the striking, 
striking power of Kurt Angle, so evident there. And again, this unique situation with one of the members of the Angle Alliance as he just opened up Tompo right above the eye. I gotta ask you, Frank, though. We're watching the training methods of Samoa Joe, somebody else that you know very well. I don't think a lot of people realize that. It's not just a relationship you have with Kurt Angle, it's a relationship you have with the Samoa submission machine. Well, both these guys are friends of mine. I actually grew up watching Kurt, got to go on tour with him as he was ending his amateur career. I was beginning mine internationally. I trained with Samoa Joe in LA. I actually watched him learn how to knee bar and ankle bar. And, and so for me, it's a very, you know, very difficult situation because both these guys are friends of mine. They hang out together and they're really looking for blood. As you can see, Kurt is right now sparring. This is just sparring. There's no points on the line against two of his teammates and he, he's already drawn blood on, on uh, Tomko. He's looking to try to, to tear this guy. I mean, he's really going after it. This is what Kurt does every day. But what about the style here of AJ Styles trying to stay away, trying to have that separation from Kurt Angle? If you look at the size difference, AJ's a little bit small, well, a lot smaller. If you run for that minute, you have a chance of getting Kurt tired. You frustrate him because of the speed that AJ has with some possible Kurt to catch him. As you can see in the look on Kurt's face, he's very frustrated. That's very difficult when he was aggressive. Oh, bad cut on Tom Carr. As aggressive as Kurt is, we can't catch him. It tends to frustrate you very early and very quickly. Well, you heard Kurt earlier tonight. He told these guys to come at him. He wasn't going to hurt him, but you can see the blood of Tomko's face, but he wants the best. And he feels that the Angle Alliance is offering that right now. And I'm going to be curious to see how Tomko now reacts now that he's had a little blood. Now, mind you, when you say, come at me, I'm not going to hurt you. It doesn't mean you're not going to get hit. You're not going to get banged up. You're still making some cuts and bruises. Just when a submission comes on, he's not going to black you out or try to break that arm or tear apart that knee in the submission attempt. But he is going to try to be completely full as he tries to do it. Put it on fully, put it on hard. As you can see, Tomko trying to do the same to him right now. That little bit of blood he has on his face, I'm sure, stepped his game up a little bit. Voice of experience from MMA star Frank Frigg, who competed in the 2000 Olympic trials. I mean, of all people, Frank, you know, Kurt Angle on to win the Olympic gold medal, and check this out. Oh, great, rolls in right to a nice ankle lock. He's got a good position. Is he gonna tap here? Oh, he man, think? look at this. You can see the pain on Tomko's face, but he doesn't <laughs> tap. He does it tap. <laughs> he rides out the time, and there's, there's something to be said by Tomko, because he knew what, how much time was left on the clock. He wrote it out, he waited it out, he got that last five seconds. Boy, he sure did. And there you see that there's still that mutual respect between the Angle Alliance members. AJ Styles in for another minute. Very, very quick. I've always been taught you got a quick guy in front of you when you're wrestling. Grab a hold of him and slow him down, as Chris just did. Now I have a feeling Chris gonna try and hold on. Jumped to that guild team, a miss. He tried to get in between, try to get Styles in between his legs, but Styles stepped out of it. Of all people, you know both champion and challenger at lockdown. Samoa Joe, Kurt Angle, give us your thoughts on that match as well as AJ frustrating Kurt. I gotta be honest with you, man. I, Kurt's won three out of the four. I mean, Joe's only won one of them. I really don't see a way that, that Samoa Joe can beat Kurt Angle come up. And I, I hopefully, he can find some way to come back on his words and, and not let his pride get in his way, because right now his pride definitely got in his way. Samoa Joe did saying that if I don't win, I'm leaving, because he's such a great pro wrestler. I hate to see him have to retire. Right. Look, look at Tomko yeah. looking on with that bloody eye, but Mike, you called it. It looks like Kurt Angle's getting really frustrated with AJ Styles. Is AJ using that speed and keeping out of the grasp and then going for the takedowns on Kurt? A nice, yeah, oh, jeez. Just the nice end the on right at the horn sounding for the end of that one minute round. And uh oh, we talked about uh -oh. that frustration oh. earlier, and you can really feel it. And you can say, come on! Well, here's the problem. Now, AJ got smart. He knew he could beat Kurt head to head and straight. Gotta keep shooting on him and keep attacking or run. Hey guys! That music, here comes Christian Cage! And look at who he's got with him. Big Kevin Nance and Rhino. Yes, the captain of Team Cage for the lethal lockdown match at Lockdown. The instant classic, Christian Cage has come out to interrupt the problems between AJ Styles and Kurt Angle. This couldn't come at a worse time for Kurt right now. He gets in the middle of this melee, tries to mess with this right now. He's got a, a severe shot of getting, uh, of having some more This Joe is a joke, just right? This is a joke. Move. Joe is off training in high altitude, taking his world title shot at lockdown seriously. And here you are, Kurt. Here you are doing what you do. Trying to manipulate Tomko and AJ and embarrassing yourself. You want a real sparring session? You want a real training session? Well, you know what? We're offering our services right here, right now. Wow. They want to give 
Kurt Angle, a real training session, and wow, right here in front of this, Kurt Angle has just walked out of the ring. He just waved goodbye, dropped down to the arena floor, and, and watch him back up. And is that a smart move, Frank? Very smart move. Samoa Joe's the heavyweight championship on the road. What's, what's this going to earn him right now? He's going to earn him some pride points. That's not going to do him any good. He's better off getting out of the way, not getting hurt, not taking that risk. Wait a minute, here comes Team 3D as they go into the ring. And now it's the numbers game. As you see Brother Devon and Brother Ray as they are beating down. Oh, everybody. Oh, Look at him. Team Cage was in total control, but then Team 3D, Brother Ray, yeah, Brother Devon, they've not only even the score, they turned that numbers game in their favor, and they have really turned it around, yes, on Christian Cage Rhino and Big Kevin Nash, and look at him work on that knee of Kevin Nash. Boy, you can see right now, they have got total control. Look at this, Brother Ray is calling for Tomko and AJ to get tables, and they are pulling him out from under the ring. Oh, man, Team Tomko wanting to put the hurt on Team Cage right here and right now. And there you see it, as Don mentioned, the table being slid into the ring, and Team 3D gonna put it in position, Brother Ray opening up that table, and this does not bode well for Christian Cage, Team Cage, Kevin Nash, Rhino, et al. Well, they came out with confidence, you guys. They came out wanting to teach a lesson, but you gotta remember, Team 3D is a part of this team. Uh -oh. And, oh, wait a minute. Hey, uh -oh. could it be? Lights out again here in the impact zone. Well, we've seen this a couple times now. And the lights are still out. Could, could it, be? it be? Could this be the return of Stage yeah! to sneak back at TNA? And look at he's got the bell. And he's swinging it with a vengeance. Wow, Frank. I gotta be honest with you, the best way to stop anything going on is to walk in with a bat into the ring, and there's nothing better to do it than when it comes from Sting. And the impact zone is going absolutely nuts at the return of the icon. Listen to this crowd. It feels really good to be back. Booker T tonight, and he left it up to the fans to decide the stipulation. Robert Roode, it's nine minutes past the hour. The matchup is next, and it will be you versus Booker T tonight in a first blood match. Yes, yes, that's what they both wanted. Booker T, you really think that you have sucked Robert Roode in tonight, don't you? I know your little game plan. I knew it right from the beginning of the night when you jumped me from behind. But it's not gonna work. Because you see, at lockdown, come hell or high water, Robert Roode will get your skanky little wife inside the six sides of steel. You see, Booker, your worst nightmare will become a reality and there's nothing, nothing you can do about it. Now tonight, tonight you want Robert Roode's blood? Well consider us on the same page because I want yours. And come lockdown Booker T, I want your wife's. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you wanted it, you've got it. A first blood match, Robert Roode versus Booker T, and it's happening right now. 
Yes, the first blood matchup on deck. Impact Zone, absolutely electric. We talked about the celebrities, the stars from sports and entertainment. That's James Ferrier from the National Football League, Pittsburgh Steelers. You've got to come to the Impact Zone. You've got to be a part of the crowd here in Orlando. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest based on the TNA Interaction Fan Vote is a first blood match. The first wrestler to make his opponent bleed will be declared the winner. Introducing first, from Wall Street in Manhattan, New York, Robert Roode. I don't know how to react first to talk about this first blood matchup between Robert Roode and Booker T. To think about that huge eight-man tag team in our main event, Team Tonto Team Cage, where we don't have to wait until the lockdown pay-per-view. Where do we start, DW? I'm telling you, that is what makes live impact tonight so special. But you mentioned it. First one right now. A knockout championship match coming up. And the eight-man, Team Cage, with Sting here in the impact zone against Team Tonto. Can you dig it, Sucker? And his opponent from Houston, Texas, Booker T. Time to raise the roof right off the impact zone. Booker T, the months and months of mental anguish. The suffering that Booker T has gone through. He has the opportunity to gain one ton of revenge right now. And Booker hits the ring. First blood rules now against Robert Roode. Pretty plain, pretty simple. You bleed. You, you lose. lose. You got that right. And Booker T, like a man possessed, and Mike, you mentioned it. You know, he was just so angry and so mad, and he just couldn't see straight. When he was dealing with the jaw of Charmel being broken. But then, when he found out that he was to be put back in harm's way, on April the 13th, beautiful kick, but on April the 13th, Jim Cornette to clean to the inside, the six sides of steel. He has just snapped since then, and he wanted the first blood match. Well, he's got it. Oh, you can see Robert Rude drop throw first across that top steel cable, then Booker connects with the kick. You see, referee Andrew Thomas has the towel in hand, and I have just been handed this note. You ready for this? Lay it on me, baby. Tonight's main event, Team Tonko, Team K, the eight-man tag team match will be brought to you commercial free by the Forbidden Kingdom, starring Jackie Chan and Jet Li. It's in theaters April 18th, but we've got the eight-man tag tonight, our main event, commercial free. Well, that's the way it should be on a special night like that. Think about that. Those eight guys in the ring, you don't have to worry about breaking for a commercial because it's going straight through. Booker T in total control, trying to find that opening, but Robert Roode able to get out of that. Oh, nice. went, yeah, went for that axe kick, you're right. Roode avoids that the shot, series of elbows, but you can see that Booker elevates him high, up and over, all the way down to the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. You've got to come back. It's Booker T, it's Robert Roode. You bleed, you lose when we return to impact. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. We are live in Orlando, Florida. Continuation of the first blood matchup. Booker T, Robert Roode, Don West. Booker in control through much of the commercial break on several occasions. It looked like he would bust Robert Roode open, including driving him headfirst into our broadcast table, but that has not been the case. I'll tell you what, he's got some tough skin as his head was driven into the broadcast table. It was driven into the rail three or four times, but Robert Roode has turned it around, and now we've had to check Booker T on three or four occasions. And she comes with the white towel, Mike, but oh no, Robert Roode throwing the chair in. Anything you can do to make him bleed. Yes, chair brought into play as Rude takes that shot. Big fist to the head of Booker T, and he's got some kind of a game plan, some strategy here in mind. Gonna use that steel chair, obviously, to try and draw that blood. Remember, this is not about pinfalls. This is not about submission. Plain and simple, make your opponent bleed to lose. Oh, oh the drop toe hole. Oh, wait a minute. Did he get him that time? He hit his forehead straight into the chair, and he damaged it. Look at that, they're looking. No blood. Oh, my God, Booker T, that was so close. But now Robert Roode gonna use those knuckles. Twist them and drive them in. 
I want to have one more reminder that wrestlers from all over the world are here in Orlando this weekend. There have already been several confrontations, but wait until you hear about one big one, one specific confrontation. Find out at TNA Mobile. Text TNA to 76,000. Robert Roode taking that chair, setting it up in the corner between the turnbuckles, and he's going to try to get the momentum of Booker T to force his head into that chair and to make him leave. But remember, these things can go crazy. Remember the Tonko Samoa Joe match a few weeks ago where Joe actually got cut using his arm to block the chair and cut his arm, and he lost oh. the match. Oh, wait a minute, now. I think he might be okay. I think his back may have hit it. What impact in the corner. That shot with Robert Roode going back first, right into the steel chair that was wedged between the ropes. And Booker digs down deep. You can just sense it here, Don. That level of revenge, this is what he's been waiting for for months. You gotta give Robert Roode credit, though. So many people have thought Booker T would have had that revenge. But Robert Roode, he's been very methodical in this. He's been goading Booker T. And all the while, it's helping build his reputation. And now, he wants look to be out. the one to push him out, out. Oh, nice kick. Nice kick. And now Booker gonna go back and use the steel chair. This could be the difference maker. Oh! Missed with the kick. Oh, oh no! And then Rude just crashed that chair. It. It's it! It might be it! Andy Thomas looking really hard. No! No! No blood! No blood yet, and Robert Rude can't believe it. Don, you said it earlier, a different side of Booker T since he found out that his wife Charmel is gonna be in the cage at lockdown. Oh, and the chair sprung back right off the top rope, right into the face of Rude. Booker like a freight train, clotheslines him over the top. Knocks him into the, into the rail. This is a chance as he's looking at Andrew Thomas looking to see if he's busted open. We're trying to check and see if we can see a replay right now. As you can see, there's wow. a chair shot. I thought Booker T was busted. Booker T, though, able to avoid that one, and it came back on Robert Roode. And check this out, Booker on fire. Impactful blow, driving Roode down to the floor with that lariat, with that clothesline. Referee Andrew Thomas right on the scene, trying to see if Robert Roode is bleeding, and he says, no, he's not, and the matchup continues. Nice, nice knee to the gut. That's Robert Roode now, trying to end it. And you can see here he's gone. Trying Booker to go T first. holding on to the leg. Pile driver attempt, blocked. Here comes Booker. What's he gonna do with it? Catapult up. Oh, oh right man. into the, right into the ring post. He just screamed him right into the ring post. And you can see Booker T, he's feeling it now. He knows he's got control of this matchup. And he, he might have opened him up right there. Andrew Thomas right on the scene. Referee checking to see, I mean, the force that Robert Roode hit his head on that steel ring post might have done the trick. We're trying to see. That's blocked, that's blocked. What does it? He said he's busted. He's busted. And look at this. It was the ring post shot. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, Booker T. Not just satisfied with that cut on the forehead of Robert Roode, Booker T laying in more of those big right hand shots. What a situation at lockdown when his wife Charmel goes back inside the steel cage. I'll tell you what, I'm looking at Robert Roode's head right now. He is busted open. Let's send it to Crystal with Arthur Kong and her associate Raisha Saeed. And now we are eagerly awaiting the interactive fan voting to find out who will face Awesome Kong. Now, Ms. Saeed, who do you think is going to be facing Awesome Science! Kong? Science! This is what Kong, this is what she has to say. Tonight is a very special night. It does not matter who the fans vote for, and it do not matter who the fans choose. It means nothing. What does matter is whomever the fans vote for, it will be a vote for defeat, and there will be a vote for destruction. Kong, she will continue her path of destruction and destroy all those in her way. Kong, she will show tonight why she is champion. And it will be my pleasure to watch Kong at work. The battle begins. Peace.
كبيرة بانيو شكرا جزيلا امشي يا حر معاه Okay, fans, stay tuned because right after this break, we are going to find out who Kong faces tonight. Gail Kim, ODB, I've asked you both here for a specific reason. Tens of thousands of fans have voted on TNAWrestling.com tonight, and I can tell you only 500 votes have separated the two of you. Tonight's opponent, taking on Awesome Kong for the Knockouts Championship, will be ODB. Get the job done tonight. All right. Bam! It's up next, the Knockouts Championship match as voted by you, the fans. Awesome Kong and ODB. Ladies and gentlemen, indeed, we are live. We are interactive in Orlando, Florida, and it is time for the matchup that you voted for at our website. You logged on, TNAWrestling.com, and you want ODB in the knockout title bout. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a TNA Women's Knockout Championship match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, that challenger based on the TNA Interaction Fan Vote from Minneapolis, Minnesota, ODB! Just how popular has ODB become here in TNA in the past couple of months? Pretty obvious. Zooming off the charts because you, the TNA fans, had your voice heard. You went to the website and you voted her as the challenger. And her opponent, accompanied to the ring by Raisha Saeed, residing in Japan. She stands six feet one inches tall, weighs 272 and three eighths pounds, and is the TNA Women's Knockout Champion, Osu! Tell you what, Mike, the TNA fans, you had a feeling that's the way they were gonna vote. We've seen so many great matchups between Gail Kim and Awesome Kong and ODD and Awesome Kong. And it had to be one of those two. But when you look at the ODD Awesome Kong matchup, there's just something so intriguing about it. You see that brute power force of Awesome Kong and that wildness, that craziness, and an also a physical specimen in ODB. But how about our knockout pioneer, Gail Kim, as you heard from JB, where the voting was close. Less than 500 votes separating Gail Kim from ODB, but this is the opportunity for ODB. And remember what Gail Kim told her, get the job done. But that's easier said than accomplished when it comes to Awesome Kong. Well, think about this. this. Awesome Kong has realized all night She's gonna be in this matchup. All the other gals, look at oh, her! She couldn't do it. One, two, you gotta give her credit for trying. That's what I love about ODB. Not afraid to try anything. Yeah, but and I mean anything. Maybe too early, Don, to try and take someone like the near 300 pound awesome Kong up into the air like that and try and overpower her. We're gonna show you a replay again, and she had her up in the air. She just couldn't get the support to hold her up. And you can see Awesome Kong just let momentum, let gravity take over. Another reminder still to come tonight here on this live Thursday Night Impact. Biggest impact ever in TNA history. It will be in our main event, Team Tomco, Team Cage. That means an eight-man tag. Tomko, AJ Styles, Team 3D against Christian Cage, Rhino, Kevin Nash, and yes, the return to the ring of Sting. And best of all, it's gonna be commercial free. And look at Awesome Kong remains dominant in this matchup. Like I said, Awesome Kong been prepared for this championship match for a week. She's known that this belt was gonna be on the line as you see those eyes, those, those mysterious eyes of Aisha Saeed as she looks on. Awesome Kong in total control, but one thing about ODB, and you can see her fighting back, she just doesn't understand what the word quit means. We've been doing everything within our power to try and find out some of the background information on Raisha Saeed, the associate of Awesome Kong, about the only thing we can tell you is just Kong squash. ODB in the corner, we know Raisha Saeed has a wrestling background. She trained over in the Orient, in the dojos in Japan with Awesome Kong, and here comes a camel clutch submission hold. 
not only cranking back on the neck gun, no, but the, the power, weight. the weight of 300 pounds across the back of ODB. Mike, you are dead on as you can see her. As right to say, he looks on, you see the, the pressure, and then you can see the pain. It's almost like ODB can't get her breath as she's pulling back on the neck gun. ODB now, that's just reflex right there. That's just fighting back. That's survival instinct. I was going to mention, desperation <laughs> move there by ODB but it sure paid off, able to momentarily at least stop Pa. Well, gonna try and knock that big oak tree down. Here she comes off the ropes after the series. Oh, boy, what a collision. I'll tell you, though, she goes right after her. She doesn't, doesn't shrink for a second, but awesome calls of another clothesline. Look out! Oh, oh. Trying to splash right on top for an end it. ODB able to get out of the way just in time. 272 and 3 8 pounds. Just went airborne. The big splash attempt by Awesome Kong. Caught nothing but canvas. And look at ODB nip up. Kip up to her feet and she's ready to go. I'll tell you what, Awesome Kong knocked the, knocked the air out of herself when she landed and missed. And ODB realized it. ODB now, you can feel that extra off and then punch it. Three quick shots. And that goes after with a close line. But you just can't knock Awesome Kong down. That is the fifth shot in a row. Austin Kong still standing. Oh, nice drop kick. But again, you see that Kong staggered momentarily, but remains vertical, still up on her feet, and ODB heads up to the middle rope, a little liquid courage. And here she goes. Oh, and she has the fast press off the road. Two, oh, how close. She almost just stole the championship. Wow. ODB showing the effort there as she comes off the rope. Great job. Confidence level rising. ODB can sense it. Potentially a three count away right here from knocking off Awesome Kong and becoming the TNA knockout champion. Tries to shoot her off. Quick reversal. Kong sends her into the corner, but then ODB moves out of the way. Look at this though. ODB has Awesome Kong not knowing where she is. And she face plants her. ODB is getting ready to get this. One. Two, we oh. got to No, we don't. No, we don't. Almost had a new knockout champ. ODB, the face plant, the follow cover, but the near fall only gets a two count. You can see ODB going, grabbing the hair, but oh, here's that spinning back pitch. That spinning shot, and oh, taking her off. The awesome bomb. Oh my God, what an awesome bomb, and it's over. Here is your winner, and still TNA Women's Knockout Champion, Awesome Bomb! Awesome Bomb proves the difference, but coming up next on the biggest impact ever, it's our eight-man tag team main event. It's Team Tomko, it's Team Cage, it's the return of Sting, and it's commercial free. Christian Cage, congratulations. It looks like you've got your team together. And I have a feeling that we're going to get a little preview of what's going to happen at Lockdown here tonight. You know something? For a while there, it didn't look like I had a friend in the world, did it? Let alone three guys to team with me for the Lethal Lockdown match. <laughs> well, what a difference a couple weeks makes. First, I align myself with the biggest and best politician in this business today, Kevin Nash. Then just last week, I mend fences with my old friend. A 10 plus year friendship with Rhino. A friendship that everybody, including myself, thought was destroyed. And now this week, the kicker, the coup de gras, the ace in the hole, the stinger. Sting is the final member of Team Cage. You know, they say people don't change. Well, Tomko, AJ, that's only half true. Because you see, even though I'm trying to change some of my ways, make up for some of my mistakes, there's one thing, there's one thing that will never change. Every night when I go to bed, every morning when I wake up, when I brush my teeth, wash my hair, rinse, repeat, go for a walk, rotate the tires on my car, build a sandcastle, play a game of kerplunk, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I'm still the champ. And I strive every single second of every single day to be the best. And that's exactly what Team Cage is. And Team Tomko, you are about to find out. If you don't know, now you know. Put down, put down, put down. Put down, put down, put down. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your TNA Impact Feature Contest at a Man 10 Team Grudge Match. 
scheduled for one fall. Introducing team number one first from New York City, Brother Ray, Brother Devon, Team Three T. The icon Sting said it best. Let's not wait until lockdown. Let's turn it loose tonight in this eight-man tag. And their tag team partners are the TNA World Tag Team Champions, the Captain Tonko and the Prince of Phenomenal, AT Styles. The biggest difference tonight from the Lethal Lockdown match April the 13th is you will add six sides of steel, the cage that surrounds the ring. You will also add weapons that are lowered into place when that cage top drops down. Oh, look at the eye of Tonko. And their opponents first from Detroit, Michigan, the War Machine, Rhino! I'll tell you, one thing I've noticed about today is everybody Hurry into that ring. Everybody wants a piece of the other person. Team Taco wants a hold of Team Cage. Team Cage now complete. We're gonna find out how well they work together. Great shot. From Tampa, Florida, by way of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, he is the instant classic, Christian Cage. You've gotta give the instant classic his props. Yes. When it looked like Don that he was really up against it. In terms of putting a team together for the lethal lockdown match, he goes out. He brings back his decade-long friend, and boy, they had a falling out in the war machine rhino. He gets the big politician, the seven-footer big sexy Kevin Nash, and he closes the deal with Sting. Hell of a job for Christian Cage. Their tag team partner from Detroit, Michigan, Big Sexy, Kevin Nash. And you know, you gotta look at the dichotomy of this group that Team Cage has brought out here. He mentioned it, the politician, the experience. And you know what? Kevin Nash does offer that. And you think about mending those fences with Rhino. How important to have a friend you can trust when you're inside the stick side to steal a lockdown. And then what do we say about the X Factor? What do we say about the man who's coming out next? And finally, from Venice Beach, California, ladies and gentlemen, this is Steve! Wow! Yes, this is the biggest impact in TNA history. And yes, Sting is back, and the icon is set to head to the six sides of steel for our eight-man tag team main event. And what's great about it is it's gonna be commercial free, boys. Oh, we love it. Yes, here comes the icon, Sting, joining forces with Team K. You talk about unity, you're seeing it right here. You're seeing the War Machine Rhino, you're seeing Big Kevin Nash, Big Sexy. You're seeing the Icon Sting and Christian Cage all come together. You've got to love that unity. And as Don mentioned, yes, tonight's main event, it's brought to you commercial free by the Forbidden Kingdom, starring Jackie Chan and Jet Li in theaters April 18th. The only time I heard about more star power than Jackie Chan and Jet Li is in that ring right now. I'm gonna tell you something, Mike, when you hear that Sting music and you know he's coming out that ramp, it just, I never get tired of that feeling, hearing the roof blow off in here. It's just something special. And look at Sting, he's been away. You gotta wonder what kind of shape is he in? Well, we haven't seen him in the ring for a few months, but you look at him and you can see he is ready for business. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Christian Cage, AJ Styles, lock it up in the center of the ring, and Christian positions AJ over the corner. And, oh, think about the long relationship between these two, and Christian slaps the taste out of AJ's mouth, and then 
drop, Toho takes him down. Well, it was such a good look at this. He's going for a quick and prettier. But AJ Styles, he's seen that before. He scaled it before he went right into that. Right into that left by Christian Cage. And, oh, nice elbow. And then AJ, cheap shot, rakes the back, springs back off the middle rope. Cage moves out of the way, sidesteps him, shoots him off into the corner. Here comes Christian. Corner and a screw. Just unloaded with that forearm and then gets right on him for his two count. Oh, you can see though, Christian Cage still grabbing the back where he was where he was raked from AJ Styles. But nice corkscrew, but AJ Styles, one of those, he's just in such great physical shape. Every time you think you've got him down, I'll tell you what, he just doesn't tire him. Oh. How about that? Christian Cage sent him flying in the air, and AJ decides he's had enough for right now. Tag into Tomko, still showing the after effects, that nasty cut around the eye that he suffered earlier in the training session with the Olympic gold medalist, the TNA World Heavyweight Champion, Kurt Angle. And again, we got to refer to the relationships here, Don, the longtime friendship that's gone sour between Christian and Tomko. And here comes the big man. I like how they're getting Kevin Nash in this match early. This guy has just shown us a revigoration as of late. And look at that look in his face. You can see that determination in Nash you haven't seen. And you look at these two powerful giants as they're grabbing each other by the throat, trying to, to resort their will on the other man. And Tonko with some wicked shots to Kevin Nash. Oh, look at those big overhand rights. Shot after shot, one after the other. But Nash able to stop, put on the brakes, wow. and then send Tonko back first into the corner. Tonko answers with an elbow. Well, you always wonder about Nash's knee, but the side slam, dude, oh my. And you gotta wonder what Tonko's got left in the tank. I mean, he was in that wicked ankle lock earlier. He was got that wicked shot to the eye. But Tonko's tough. I think the adrenaline's gonna carry him through. Speaking of tough, check out the war machine. Immediately in, Tonko cuts him off momentarily with that knee to the midsection. Turns things over to Brother Ray from Team 3D. Big shot to the top of the head with the elbow. Open hand slap to the chest of a rhino in the corner. It's gonna take him right out. Gonna try and shoot him off with an assist from Brother Devon. Team oh. 3D double shoulder block. I'll tell you what, if you see a quick penitent there by Brother Devon, I mean, you want to root, of course, for TK. You just love the dynamics of that group. But think about this. You have the tag team champs and maybe the greatest tag team of all time on the other side. You talk about people who know how to trust each other. You talk about people who know how to have their partners back. That is a great, solid team in Team Tomko. Mid-ring collision. Rhino gets the best of it. Right on Brother Devon for the pin attempt, but no three count. Rake of the eyes. Rhino shot into the corner. There's an elbow shot for AJ. There's a big right hand for Tomko. Back elbow for the charging Brother Devon. But now oh, no. the tag oh. champs double team Rhino. Wishbone me right into that ring post. And oh, that's how you take Tomko out of commission. I mean, uh, Rhino out of commission, as you can see. Tomko and Brother Ray double teaming him outside of the ring. And now the referee looks over. Earl Hebner looks, but there it was. There was the destruction. AJ and Tomko took Rhino and just split him. Oh, God. Trouble for Team Cage in our Impact Main Event Tag Team matchup. Sting looks on from the apron. Brother Dave on drop down. Quick pin attempt on Rhino. Another near fall. Another two count from referee Earl Hebner. You can just sense the members of Team Cage. They want to get in there. They want to get a fresh man into this eight man tag. Well, I'll tell you what, Brother Ray, Brother Devon are really working together out there. And you can see Brother Devon doesn't need to look who he wants to tag. He trusts Big Brother Ray. And now here he goes. Oh, man. man what a Frog splash. splash. I mean, oh, my God. How did Rhino kick out of that? That is just unbelievable, the weight that came down on him, and that shows you how tough Rhino is. We talked earlier about the unity as far as Team Cage is concerned. But what we've seen in this match is the fact that Team Tomko members, are, they're right on the same page as well. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they know exactly what they're doing right now, and they're keeping Rhino over here on this side. They're keeping him from getting over to either Kristen Cage, Kevin Nash, or, of course, Sting. And I think we all want to see a tag to, to get in his thing to see what he can do. He just has that persona that can take over the ring, but not a chance. It's Tonko digging it hard, but look at Rhino. Man, can he fight back? Oh, what a shot by Tonko. War Machine fought him off with several blows, but then that big strike by Tonko dropped Rhino dead in his tracks. Tag in. Brother Ray is now legal, and he's going to try and slow things down. Going to try and neutralize Rhino here. 
Rock's gonna use his legs, the leg scissors wrapped around the body of Rhino, and at the same time, you see what the strategy is here for Brother Ray. Position, moving over to their side uh -oh. of the ring. Mike, you, call, you are dead on and knowing that. Think of the damage he's doing to the rip. Think of the air he's taking out of Rhino. He's just making him weaker and weaker. And if Rhino can't get over there, yeah, again, he pulls him over. Here comes AJ Styles. Oh my gosh, they're just, they're putting on a clinic right now. Incredibly sound strategy from Team Tonko. Always having the fresh man in on the attack against a weakened war machine Rhino who's having a difficult time fighting back. AJ shoots into the ropes a and shot. a picture perfect drop kick and he just knocked Rhino flat down on his back. Well, Rhino, you, I, it's amazing that he's not had his, his shoulder blade through to the mat for three seconds. He's just taking everything that every one of them can give him. I mean, they're just switching partners so fast, and it's shot after shot. Rhino, you wonder what the war machine can take. Mike, he looks about done. Double team, 3D, shoots him to the corner. Now goes Brother Whoa. Diva. Wow. Rhino moved out of the way, and then the clothesline drops Brother Ray, but you've got to get a tag. Talk about desperation. That's exactly what Rhino did, but he's still on the wrong side. He's trying to crawl over to Sting. He's so oh, he's close. close. Look he's how close so he is. close. Can he get it? Yes. Here, Here he comes. comes. Sting in. Brother Ray down. Brother Diva down. Look at this! I mean, he is just one after another, and he's timing it all perfectly. Every one of them coming to him when he wants. He's dictating the action, and that's what's making him so stubborn. And there's the Stinger Splash. Look out! Brother Ray, staying able to move out of the way. Stinger Splash to the back of Tomko. Can he get both members of 3D? Right on the money! I'm telling you, that's how you turn it around. And he was waiting on AJ. Oh, man, he had the knee perfectly placed. And here it comes. Scorpion, turn him over. Sit down on that Scorpion death block. Here's the submission. Oh, no. Brother Ray knew it. He had to get there quick because he had it cinched in. And now you see Nash on Brother Devon. You see Christian Cage on Tomko pulling back on the neck as all hell's broken loose in the ring. You're right. All eight men inside the six-sided ring. Referee Earl Hebner doing his damnedest to try and maintain control but not having much success. This is just a preview of April 13th. Leave the lockdown when these eight guys are going to be inside the six-sided steel. The ceiling with the weapons will lower down and they'll all be trapped inside. Tomko turns his attention to Sting who drops over and he dropped it. Here we go! Oh, again, he was so close. But before Hebner could get the count in, Brother Ray again. And look at the double team. Holy cow! I thought he was going to beat him with that Scorpion death drop. Instead, 3D trying to spoil the return of Sting. Nash no. fights through. Close line, choke slam. Brother Ray taken down. I'll tell you what, Kevin Nash Whoa. just still showing us how strong he is. But Tomko. He was dead on perfect, and look at him tackle Christian Cage and ram him back into the third bucket. It's the two team captains at Lethal Lockdown squaring off. Christian Cage and Tomko. Christian extends the leg, caught him with the boot. Wow, what a DDT! Oh my God! He just created the fight for Argo by AJ Styles. Styles springboard came out of the lights, turns around, Sting's got him. A big press slam high above his head. Look out! AJ wow. all right on the Tonko! Showing the strength! If you doubted it, he just proved it! But now he's got talk. He's got it from T3D and look at him home man! Oh my god, what a gore! What a gore by Rhino! Just when it looked like they were gonna hit the 3D on Sting! Sting! Double leg! A brother Devon! Get him! Here it is! Scorpion death lock! Can he get it stitched in? You can see he's turning around! And he's putting the weight down. Is he going to tap? His brother Devon's going to tap. Look at him. He's fighting. As you can see, he does tap out. Steve gets the win. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners. Rhino, Christian Cage, Big Sexy Kevin Nash, and Steve. What a return. What a return by the Icon Sting! And you talk about a feel-good moment. Yes, what a way to close out the biggest impact in TNA 
long history. You want to talk about a team that's got momentum on their side. Headed to lockdown. Headed to Boston. Headed to the cage. You're talking about Team Cage. We're talking about Christian Cage. Kevin Nash, the War Machine Rhino, and the returning icon, the man called Sting. You talk about a team that'll have a home court advantage wherever they go. Listen to this crowd. And Mike, I'm telling you what, they combined all that experience and they proved they can work together. Look at that visual. Team Cage victorious in the center of the ring. We talked about the unity of these two teams heading into the lethal lockdown matchup. But what a picture we saw as Sting applied that scorpion, the submission hold on brother Devon, and all of his teammates surrounded Whoa! Sting. Oh my God! Jake Storm just busted Sting! I'm sorry, Mark! He busted him in the back of the head! Oh my God, Jake Storm! We haven't seen him since Elevation X! Oh man, he busted him in the back of the head! What the hell is it? What the hell is Jake Storm doing here? The broken beer bottle over the head of Sting! You're right, Don. We haven't seen it since he since that death-defying fall from the Elevation X structure. And now James Storm comes back like this. Look at this. It's giving him the numbers advantage. And you can see they were doing this. And now they have taken control of the situation. AJ Storm, Brother Ray, Brother Devon, and Tonko. And now James Storm came in and did that. I can't believe what I just saw. How disgusting. I got to admit it. I never saw this one coming. James Storm of all people spoiled what was an incredible night, an incredible moment, the return of Sting to TNA. And James Storm comes out and crashes a beer bottle over his head. How will Team Cage answer? We'll find out next week. You've got to join us on Impact.